Okay, so I'm, I'm in the church courtyard right now, and um, Ethan has just run after Teresa, but um, I'm too far away to hear what's going on. Well, what does it look like they're saying? I don't, I don't know, but it looks it looks deadly serious. Oh, relax, Mother. The wedding has been put on hold, and, and there's no way that, that Ivy or Ethan or anyone is going to find out that we actually sent the email from Teresa's computer. I think Ethan is breaking up with her right now, and I'm going to be there to pick up the pieces. What do you think you're doing? That's mine. Who are you talking to? None of your damn business. You know, you should be ashamed of yourself. Excuse me? You're the one who has a daughter who's a disgrace. Not another word! I couldn't hear what you were saying into your phone, but it is clear that you were gloating about Teresa's wedding coming to a halt. And I'm supposed to apologize for that? I don't think so. Frankly, I'm thrilled that Ethan has been saved from making the biggest mistake of his life. How dare you assume the worst of my daughter? She did not send that email to the newspaper. That story is a cruel lie. Oh, really, Pilar? Then how come the tip they received came from Teresa's computer? It has her address on it. The one I set up when I gave your daughter her own laptop. I don't care. I know my daughter did not send it. I noticed you're not denying that Teresa knew about Ethan's paternity before he did. Everyone knows that you're Ivy's one confidant. Obviously, she got the truth from you so she could steal Ethan away from me and marry him. Was she ever going to tell him the truth? Somehow, I really doubt it. You are so wrong. I'm sorry, Pilar. But the truth is out. If Teresa didn't send the email, then who did? That's a very good question. You seem to know a great deal about the tabloid headline when we were all in the church. How is that possible, Gwen? I love how you're trying to turn this around and make it my fault when Teresa is the one who stabbed Ethan in the back. Gwen's right, Pilar. How dare you blame her when we have all seen proof that the email exposing Ethan's paternity came directly from Teresa's computer. That does not mean my daughter sent it. Oh, spare me! I understand that you are loath to accept your daughter's treachery. But even you should be able to see that this wedding had to be stopped. Just thank God that Ethan found out in time. Still, he must be so hurt right now. Oh. You're right, Gwen. Let's go, Ethan needs us. And we talked about who else knew besides my mother and Pilar that I was Sam Bennett's son. You said you had no idea. I need to hear that that wasn't a lie. I need to hear the truth, and I need to hear it from you. Did you know? Of course she knew, Ethan. She just didn't feel it was expedient to let you in on her little secret. Gwen, this is between Teresa and me. Fine. Don't take my word for it. But since the cat seems to have quite a grip on Teresa's tongue at the moment, why don't you let her eyes tell you what her lying mouth can't? Look at them closely, Ethan. They'll tell you the truth. Oh, my God. You knew I wasn't a crane. Yes, I knew, Ethan. I knew you weren't a crane before you found out. How? How is that possible? I defended you. I told everyone that you couldn't have known before I did because we found out at the same time. That's what she wanted you to think, Ethan. That's why she lied to you all these months. But that wasn't enough for you, was it, Teresa? You weren't content until you had exposed the most intimate fact of my life to the sordid tabloid press.